So the oppo that's done, I don't understand why you would do this interview at this moment in time, and maybe this was just like a call by ABC, but this will be a conversation in the debates tonight. And if you don't think Julian Castro or Kamala Harris is going to take the shot when they have it, metaphorical shot, I keep saying that because I talk like a redneck, I'm sorry. Um, I don't understand the strategy of having it done right now. I would have preferred to see him in a suit. I would have preferred to see him one-on-one um, -on -one in a studio. I think it's fine if you're talking about your addiction issues, but when you're talking about possibly taking, well, taking money that people have questionable ethics behind. And listen, it, this is breaking my heart. It's breaking my heart all day long. I love Joe Biden. I love his family. Hunter Biden has had a lot of issues he's struggled with for a long time. But you know what's also breaking my heart? Some of these poll numbers. Elizabeth Warren is leading in the CBS YouGov poll 32 to 24 percent in New Hampshire. So she's going to take these opportunities. And yes, the American public, I don't know who cares, but Democratic primary voters are going to care. And Elizabeth Warren, mark my words tonight, or one of these guys, one of the 12 people running and girls, will take the shot in front of them. Well, I think it's interesting that that Joe Biden was the vice president for eight years. Mm -hmm. And this has now come up. He, and also, you know, uh, Hunter was working with this company before he became vice president. So they knew him, and so it's not unusual. But, you know, this is, this is something that this particular president likes to do. He likes to bend over and spew poo out mm -hmm. when he's nervous. Mm -hmm. He likes and to project so, also yes, what he's guilty of. He projects on other people. Look, it doesn't ab absolve the Trump family at all in any way. Theirs no. is arguably much worse. But the problem for Democrats is you are setting the precedent that we are so much better, cleaner. We are not the swamp people that the Trumps are. Well, actually, and when you have this conversation actually, that's actually on the national the, everybody stage. Everybody is the Trump, is the, is the swamp people if we read and see who is, you know, from, yeah, from the Bushes to from John yeah, yeah, in Seattle. Running all the way, yeah. From, but I, I don't think Quincy. Elizabeth Warren a, thinks she's a swamp person. No, the, most people don't think they're swamp people. But what's most the, people what's the are trying. To, well, I'm just. No, I'm saying, what's me, the alternative to the Hunter Biden response? Well, Wait, the alternative to the to Hunter Biden. No, I think Joe spoke about it. I would have done it, it earlier. I, number one. Well, I think Joe spoke about it. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of have to think. Well, how dumb was everybody in the White House to not have seen this eight years ago? I mean, this is, this is not like this just happened. Eight, the man was vice president for eight years. So if no one looked at it, nobody said, oh, this is terrible. And he said in this interview, you know, maybe the optics, yeah, maybe the optics are not great. Mm -hmm. OK. Yeah. But there, you can't point to anything that my father did. You can't point illegal. to anything that I did. That's illegal. That's and to me, that is the key. That's what the, the key. Democrats need to do tonight is what they've needed to do every time they Convince get together. The American people. Tell people them. what you're going to do for them. Tell them how you're going to make it better. Because now, Americans, you can't put your kid on the summer program because you don't have any money because you couldn't put anything mm -hmm. aside. But that's the American you're working, public well, broadly. That's, well, that's what I'm saying. But you, I, I'm talking about primary voters and the I'm battleground talk, that's I'm going on about right now. Everybody who is going to vote, because to me, if you're not, if you can't convince America why you're going to make it better for them, just on a yeah. daily basis, because you, you Americans, we all are working to pay our taxes. We are taxed but, within but, an inch of our behinds by everybody. And part of the problem is the man that's in there now mm -hmm. put together a tax program that was supposed to make it better and did But OK, I, I understand. I hear you. OK, I know clear. you do. I do. And I respect what you're saying. Thank you. But I am saying that, for me, the primary battleground that's happening right now, and primary voters are still different than general electorate voters, and this is a huge distraction. And it's a huge narrative problem. Again, when Democrats are saying, look at all the, as you so eloquently stated, Sonny, all of the money that the Trumps are making, and at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, Hunter Biden is refusing to say how much money he made off these involvements. He says, I'm a private citizen. I'm not going to sit here and open my kimono as it relates to how much money I make. To me, mm -hmm. make, there, there's many different ways he could have answered the question, and no right. one is more 
more emotionally involved with Joe Biden at this table than I am. I love him and his family dearly. I got dearly. that. I got I that. I would have preferred a cleaner interview. But don't you All think right. it Wait, hold up. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to make a correction because I think I said that Hunter worked with Burisma before Joe was VP. I should have said that he worked as an advisor to Burisma uh, through his firm before Burisma invited him to join mm -hmm. their board. My bad. Mm -hmm. So it changes everything. Oh yeah. Well, you know, sometimes. Matter, you know, sometimes if you you misspeak or you speak too fast, you just gotta say, oh yeah, this live is what, what I gotta yep. say. It's live, and we actually are alive up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're actually 